Hey, what's up guys, Martin here, and today is March 21, 2022, and uh, this morning DJ just had a, a launch event and introduced one of the most craziest drones uh, for the enterprise side of business. The enterprise pretty much is for um, complex missions like first responders, police and firefighter, inspection work, like power lines. Uh, so heavy rain or temperatures below zero or really hot temperatures like in a desert. So they so these drones are equipped with the maximum capacity for these extreme conditions. When I first saw this, they come out on stage. The first impression in my mind was, in, I'm going to show you what the drone looks like here. And you can see the front of it with the camera. And I said, this looks like the copy of a sentinel from the movie the matrix now i don't know if this is where the inspiration came from but this thing is starting to look a little little similar right who knows this drone is redesigned uh from the previous model where the legs now fold so you can fold the the legs and you can see there how it's folded and it uh, minimizes the portability by almost 50 percent i mean like you could you can literally just grab this and go put it in a backpack and uh and the reduction in size minimizes dramatically here's a picture of where it's um it's underwater so it's waterproof or water resistant and in this picture here it's on top of a it, the new docking station so basically you can land here take off and recharge your batteries it also has this little camera attachment where you can stream live and have a live feed of the dock station if you're somewhere else and you can monitor and this thing also this docking station also includes some kind of backup battery just in case you need to uh, recharge batteries if you don't have a plug or an outlet the controller too which is insane i the it looks like a, a dji smart controller but like super complex for this kind of drone um but kind of redesigned in the sense of uh where they positioned all the uh here's the controller where they, they put all the, the buttons just to give you some uh, some summarized details some of the conditions include for the operation of the drone include uh, heavy rain, high winds, high altitudes, even in icy and snowy conditions from negative 20 Celsius to 50, 50 degrees Celsius. There's three cameras, right? I think, let me see. The wide, there's a wide camera, there's a zoom camera. Oh, there's a thermal camera. There's a, and then there's a laser rangefinder. So this M30, the Matrice 30, integrates a 40 megapixel camera uh, half CMOS sensor zoom camera with 5x to 16x optical and 200x digital a 12 megapixel wide angle camera 8k photo 4k 30 frames per second video resolution and a laser rangefinder which can give you the precise coordinates of objects up to 1200 meters away the M30T features an additional 640x, uh, 640 by 512 pixel radiometric thermal camera. It's fully loaded. The docking station uh, also includes uh, dedicated power, like I was saying, some backup batteries inside the unit with internet access, the internal batteries for power failures, and it can support a 4g dongle the it also has its own built-in weather station surveillance cameras antennas 25 minute automatic fast battery charging and can support drone missions up to seven kilometers away so that's some in, insane stuff that's happening here the maximum battery life for this drone is 41 minutes flight time and there was a picture i don't know if Oh, here, this one right here with the docking station. In order to carry the docking station, you're going to need a pickup truck. I mean, it's not going to be something you can just carry with, with a buddy or something. This thing has to has to be carried uh, on a truck and, uh, and, and, and transported around. Now, they said, how much do you think this whole thing costs? And I said around $50,000 for the whole, the whole thing. 
That was my uh, my guess. Just the drone itself, uh, just the drone with the can the drone, the remote controller, and the uh, battery. I think you get two batteries. It is in the range of fourteen thousand dollars. And if you're going with the hub, if you're going with the the uh, what do they call it, the uh, DJI dock, a price tag of around thirty thousand dollars. So yeah, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll leave some of the links to the articles here and to the DJI page. Take care. Have a great day.